Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more of The Last of Us Part 2 and coming at you live uh, with live commentary here in Montreal, Quebec in scorching hot Montreal, Quebec. We're in the middle of a heat wave. And that's okay, though, because I got my trusty Danby 3000 portable air conditioning unit putting the chill on in my living room as I um, chill to this fantastic game, The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, fair warning, let's just start this, load this up while I'm talking here. Wait a minute, go back here. Load game. No, that guy right there. Load, yes, that's correct. Do it to it. Uh, the first, uh, I would say, this is typical too. The first four or five minutes of this run, Ellie and Dina are going to, there's just going to chat non-stop. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to get a word in edgewise. So if you hear me saying nothing or very little, that's why. Doing my best not to step on the commentary or the NPC dialogue so that those who want to enjoy this story uh, may do so. Also, I've tweaked the settings. I think I found the right mix of microphone gain and um, I made a few other tweaks uh, in Share Factory to make sure that the MP you can actually hear the NPC dialogue. Sounds pretty good now. Like the sounds Sounds like it's pretty good. So uh, this is the best I'll be able to do until my new headset decontaminates. I've received a new headset, as I mentioned last video, but it's now in quarantine and it will be in quarantine until Sunday. Take it out and start playing around with it, see if I can get some better sound out of the mic. Actually, th this mic, this POS4 <laughs> default mic that comes with the, uh, the PS4 um, Pro, um, machine it's not too bad it's not too bad could be worse but that's what i'm using now it's in one ear and mr fumble fingers please let's have a nice clean run because my ear is killing me you've blown two runs already let's have a nice clean run this time okay here we go and i think my controls are wrong yeah they are Hang on a second. Yeah, what I wanted to do was just simply switch the L1 and L2 buttons and the R1 and R2 buttons. I was trying to do that in the game uh, a couple weeks ago and I couldn't for the life of me pull it off because it's really, it's really messed up. So now I just do it in the PlayStation. In case you don't know, you can swap buttons in the PlayStation by going to settings, uh, accessibility, and button management or something like that. And then you could just swap buttons like, like that. So that's what I did. So now um, I'm using L1 to aim and L2 to fire, which is great because the plungers, like the default R1, to aim and R2 to fire, the, those plunger buttons, like that's what I call the plunger buttons. They're no good for firing. They're just no good. This is a lot better. You good? Yeah. I thought I was fucked back there. Okay, let's get going. Uh, thanks for the save, by the way. Of course. So, those are the wolves. They're really armed. Yeah, they are. Do you think there were going to be this many of them? Tommy said this was a possibility. Does that change anything for you? No. Out of way there, Dina. <laughs> okay, that's all I could find. Blue girl, did I miss a spot? Missed this bat. Oops. Uh, 
All right, clear? Clear. All right, next. Apartment number six. Go out here, past the patio, hang left. Keep an eye out for patrols. There were a bunch trying to smoke me out around here. How many? I passed two, but I got a feeling there were more. And once they realize we're out of Quiet girls, there's blood. Dana. Blood. Fresh blood. Fresh blood. No okay, way. and let's get our revolver up and running. Okay, there's fresh blood because there's an infected in this room up here. Um, if we go into sneak mode, she'll be able to just like aim and slide across and gun him down as he pops out. The only problem is the diabolical developers have put a dead body here, so Ellie always stumbles over the dead body. They know people are doing are gonna do this, I guess. So she's gonna stumble over the dead body as we strafe to the left there, so be prepared for that. Come on. Up. Stumble. And our revolver is upgraded with damage, so we should be able to one shot him. Aim for center mass. And Bob's your uncle. Oh, my heart's racing. Same. I always opt for the revolver because I always find revolver ammo in this drawer here. Is that what you find? Post a comment. So we just get the bullet back. So Yeah, post a comment. Did you find revolver ammo in that drawer? Next. I'm bit Tina's dead. We've been getting drunk on our patrols for a while. Uh-oh, you snooze you lose. This was such a shit post, no infected, no scars, far from everything far from everything, rather. Her brother would mix moonshine, so we drink and talk. Went that way for months. We were stumbling around the grocery store <laughs> when these runners surprised us. Let her brother know. I'm sorry. I tried to save her. Tell mom I love her. Uh, that's really heavy, Chevy. <laughs> Let's see what he did there. Okay, and that's not what we came here for. This is not what we came here for. This is not what we came here for. What did we come here for? This is what we came here for. Ken Griffey Jr. Meet Ellie. Ellie, meet Ken Griffey Jr. Hey, Ellie. Hey, Ken. <laughs> yeah, a baseball bat. <laughs> Woohoo. Now we're talking. We're going to upgrade this sucker too, because it's so much fun to use. You'd be fooled to upgrade it now though. Um, you want to use up like three uses. See that in the bottom right corner of the screen there, a little baseball bat and four dashes. Once you use it four times, um, heavy hits, basically uh, it's going to be burnt out and it'll be destroyed. So we're going to use it three times, then upgrade it. Right, Ken? Right. Okay, blue girl, did we get everything? Clear. Clear. And we're clear. One thing about uh, melee weapons I love is that they don't use up their durability when you smash inanima inanimate objects. For example... <laughs> Smashy, smashy. So if you're like me, just like going around smashing shit up <laughs> just for the hell of it. Go ape. It's not going to uh, ruin your weapon. Okay, nothing in the pool. Not that I could find. I've searched it many times. I can't believe they just attacked like that. These people are not like us. Yeah, they're not like what us. What if we've been refugees? <laughs> I don't know. Had intel they needed. It doesn't seem like they care about that. Okay, look for the capital in sign and go straight behind it. Something keeps 
down here. Why didn't they kill you and tell me when they had the chance? I don't know. It seems reckless. Maybe they're dumb. Maybe. Okay, I know we want, you want to talk some more, Dina, but we got some important stuff to do here. We want to get up there. How do you get up there, Slacky? You get up there by... You have, what you have to do is take this dumpster and you have to drag it off this red curb here before you can move it around. So that's what you have to do first. So what you just kind of drag it this way. Once you get it off that way, you can drag it around anywhere you want. So let's just position it over by that open window there. Go around here, grab it, reposition it, get it all nicely right in front of that window there. All right, you wait here, Dina. I'll be back in a sec. I'll what she watch. said. All right, now let's go straight for the goodies. The goodie room. This is what we want here, highlighted in green. The trap mine. What the fuck is this? It's a trap mine. Some kind of bomb. Trap mines explode when enemies get near them. Oh boy, <laughs> a new toy. Nice <laughs> And something I never know. First of all, let's look at the trap mine recipe. It's the same as the stun bomb recipe. Let's make one right away. Hell, let's make another one. There we go. Full up on trap mines. Now, put that away, Ellie. Yeah, get out your gun. And something I never knew. You could just hold down the triangle button to loot everything at once. Let's just try this. Oh, oh, okay, great. Oh, hell. Okay, cool. I spent this morning, uh, I spent about half an hour this morning um, going through a ton of load screen hints that I normally just ignored because I thought I'd seen them all, but apparently I hadn't. And there's some rifle ammo. That's a shame because um, we won't be able to come back to get it. Okay, blue girl, get to work. Find everything. Wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry, didn't resist. Okay. Um, we got some steroids here. I'm just pausing because I guess it just added together all the supplements there because I got, I saw two piles of supplements there. I guess it just added them together. I just noticed her there. See, her hair disappeared. <laughs> I never noticed that before. Read that. Are you stuck? Viv, we were robbed last night. It was Jimmy. He had a baseball bat. <laughs> I hope he acted alone. You, if you guys are in a rough spot, you could talk to me. I care for you and your son. Now more than ever, we need to be looking out for each other. There are enough criminals running this city. Here, add a little salt and some water to these, and it almost tastes like the real thing. wonder what he gave him. His dirty socks. Here, add a little salt and water to these things. It tastes almost like the real thing. Dirty sock soup. Hey, you can't get too picky when there's a pandemic, right? We all know that. Okay, so, blue girl, uh... Did we miss anything? Clear. All right, clear. Oh, here, Harry is glitching out. Look. It's not just it blue girl. It? Yeah. Oh, her hair is glitching out. Okay. <clears throat> Ellie has got like a kind of like a Sinead O'Connor thing going on here. <laughs> Let's go jack some cards, Ellie. <laughs> Get out of the car, bitches! Come on, give me the keys. This ain't no motherfucking drill. Yeah. That's right, you can jack, fool. Is she the one? Get out of the car. Uh, is she the one with the braid? No. 
Okay, enough of that. I remember about her was the son of her crying over the um, fuck's face when I sliced him open. So, how do you want to handle her? This is locked. Knows. Find out where the others are. Go from there. You gonna ask her why they did it? Yeah. Any of this jogging memories of stuff Joel said about his past? Mm. Nothing new. What are the chances he did stuff that you don't know about? Hi. He wasn't, um, he wasn't very big on sharing. <laughs> However, you can jump in the back window to get behind that locked door. Probably know more about all the people Joel crossed. We're full up on racks. Can we make anything? Oh, we're short on alcohol. And I know some of you are out there going, that's the story of my life stack. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, we just need another court. And we can unlock the door from the inside. Out we go. And that is everything here. Done. To the best of my knowledge. Up the stairs is the way to continue. And let's practice your runaway like a little girl maneuver. Maneuver. There we go. Oh, a bad guy. Oh, there's a bad guy. How do you do that, Slack? You do that by pulling back on the left stick and pressing X. So pull back, press X, and you flip around. Oh, there's a bad guy. Oh, there's a bad guy. And this way to continue, this is the point of no return. Can't go back, so make sure you got it all before you continue. I can still kind of see the buildings. How do you want to go? Uh, let's see. Yeah, just to verify this. Can't climb the fence here, even though it seems like you can. And there are other fences in the game that are this high, and they let you climb them. But no. no. So we can't go back and use that rifle ammo. Okay, we've got some action up ahead. Daydream cleaners. Let's have some, let's have some fun with our trap mines. Now we could go in. Guns are blazing. Bottles are flying. But let's get our sneak on. Start off with the guy on the roof. Okay, now where is the guy on the roof? There he is right there. Okay, that's exactly where we want him to be when we take him out. So wait till he goes down here, he stops, and he's going to patrol back, and he's going to stop right, well not stop, but turn around right about there, so be careful, and then he's going to patrol, see he always turns around right there, see? Okay, and he's got his back to us, so let's just go here, go prone. Okay, wait for him to go back. He turns around to catch you in case you're trying to sneak up on him right about now. Ah, nice try. Nice try. And he turns back around, now we can start putting the move on him. Let's sneak right up. Grab him. And stab him. Grab him. Stabby, stabby. Yar! Down you go. And did you give up some rifle ammo this time? No! Oh, that cuts it. That cuts it. Okay, this is a job for Mr. Trap Mine. We got three more guys down below. 
unfortunately for them, there's only two ways to get to the roof. So, insert diabolical laughter. <laughs> there's one guy right there. Turns around. Watch it. Watch it. Okay. One way to get to the roof is by jumping up on top of this vehicle here. So, let's put a trap mine there. <laughs> and the only other way to get to the roof is a ladder over on that side. So, let's put a trap mine there. All is in readiness, Doctor. That's right. Okay, and let's get a rifle happening. Let's see where this patrol is. There he is right there. He usually stops at this end of his patrol and gives you a nice, clean shot. There he is. That's right. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. There we go. Okay, could get a headshot, but I didn't want to wait any longer. Okay, let's get a throwable and wait here and watch the fun. Come on, somebody come up. Check the roof. Come on, somebody check the roof. There you go. Dude! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so this side has been compromised. Ah, they're gone. Flush them out. Here you go. Over there. Oh, jeez. Here, here. Oops. Ah! I screwed up. <laughs> Got him. You down? And he left? I don't think so. Mr. Fumblefingers, what the hell was that all about? Okay, at least I can get myself killed. You recognize any of them? None. Oh, great. Gives up some revolver ammo. Man, this QZ is huge, right? It's pretty massive. You think the wolves are spread out all over it? I sure hope not. And you can retrieve unused trap mines. And my bad, after half a dozen practice runs, it looks like there's a third way to get to the roof. Yeah, I overlooked this. The dumpster. Okay, so you gotta watch out for that too. Okay, so what's the damage? I used up a Molotov. Without permission. <laughs> and I took a little bit of damage. Okay, there is a... Oh, what do we got here? A pipe. No, we don't want that. There is always a bottle here. Let's refresh our throwable supply. And... See, that fence is no problem. Okay, let's get our loot on. Still full up on rags. It's still a little short on alcohol. It's too bad because if we can make a Molotov to replace the one that I had to use. There we go. Okay, and that's the canister. Explosive. Um, should be able to make another trap mine. No, we need a little more explosive. What's that? That's probably a throwable over there.
and we're clear. This way. Okay, what she said. Facing the Daydream Cleaners sign, if you're doing about a face, we're going down that way. Two locations here, the bookstore and the Coast Gas Station. You want to hit up the bookstore first because inside the bookstore is, well, I'll tell you next video. Woo! <laughs> yeah, cliffhanger. Yeah, uh, let me just see how this recording came out. I'm curious to see if all the levels are right and um, Mr. Fumbles, uh, Mr. Fumblefingers is rearing his ugly head. So yeah, let me just uh, um, quit while I'm ahead. And uh, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you enjoyed the series and the live commentary, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and stuff like that there. And I will see you next time for some more of The Last of Us Part 2.